Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley unboxing slash showcase. I've got Matchbox. I've got moving parts. I have the L and the M case. We're just coming off the K case, which had the fantastic Porsche and the BMW, like two already all-timers. Great, great mix. And then I've got the L case, which a lot of you have found in store with the Bronco. That came from our friends at A&J Toys. And then I have the M case, which came from Matchbox themselves. So some new stuff. I think you're seeing it. This might be coming. I don't remember. Anyway, we're going to open them both up. We're going to take a look at the models out of the unboxing. I will do the unboxing portion of it. There's a chance of a chase in here. I'm, I have never pulled a, a chase in moving parts, so I don't think that'll happen. But you never know. And we'll also turn this into a showcase. We'll open them up and actually look at the model. So we'll start with the L case. This one has that new Bronco in it, which is fantastic. I know there's other new stuff as well. I can't remember. I should have mentioned the Audi wagon was a great uh, model in the K case as well. But uh, let's just open this one up from a &J Toys. You can go to anjtoys.com and buy these. Uh, highly suggested if you'd like to, whatever that means. All right. And let's you just, you have no idea what you're looking at with these boxes, right? With these environmentally friendly, environmentally friendly packaging. Again, I'm not hearing anything. I think people are actually liking these. So here is the first one. It is the Lamborghini. I actually did this in the sneak peek vid, right? Uh, 2019 Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster. We're not going to open everything, but we'll probably open up this one. So I'll just put it off to the side. I don't remember. We can see the Broncos there, uh, what the other models are, but I'll show you. There's the close up of the packaging. There's a close-up of the artwork. Nineteen sixty-five Volkswagen sixteen hundred TL fastback. I guess the one thing is you don't know what's going on, but you only see half of the model as well. But this is one that's uh, this has been a, a model for a long time since they've like, since, since the debut of moving parts, right? So I'm probably not going to open this one. Um, I'll uh, just to make this video not too long. We'll see, maybe I'll put it on the turntable later. We'll see, we'll see. I just may not give it a full showcase. Here is the one that I am most interested in, I think from this case, I can't remember what's down here, but this is the 1978 Ford Bronco. There is the artwork, it has the opening hood. There is the model. I love the, I love the style of this one, the paint job on this one, but let's just, uh, let's, we'll just do the unboxing portion of it. There's two of those, which is good, you want that. There is one 2016 Ram Ambulance. That looks cool. Matchbox County. That's an existing casting. I'll probably, maybe I'll put on the turntable later. This is new 2022 Alfa Romeo Stelvio, right? Crossover SUV with opening doors. We'll definitely open that one. And we finish off with another new casting. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. No chase. Was the, I there, think there's a chance of a Pagani in this one, or maybe not. Maybe it was the K case that had the Pagani. And this one didn't have one. Maybe the M case has a chance at the Mitsubishi Evo, I think. Okay, whatever. 1970 AMC Javelin. Really cool to see the Javelin. And I'm happy that there are two of those. They got it right with the two Broncos and the two Javelins. So we'll open those up as well. We'll just keep going before we even... I've got these over here. And then let's uh, see what's in the M case. And then we'll figure out what models we want to showcase. M case is new. Maybe it's the Evo that's showing up in the L case. And there's something else in this, the M case. I am just, I, I lose track so quickly. And sometimes I'm just not helpful at all. There it is. Let's just, uh, we'll go two by two this time. So we'll make it, okay. Open this one up because everyone's interested in the Mazda RX-7. I think that's why there are two of them. There is the artwork. This was white last year. It is red this year. I'll put them all in the turntable, whether I talk about them or not, we'll see. But two of those. Pull these out. Two of these as well. What is this one? Oh, brand new casting. 2018 Ford Focus RS. Hot Wheels did one of these a few years ago, but here is Matchbox's version with an opening hood. We'll definitely take a look at that one for sure. Yeah. This is great. 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. That looks to me like the Hertz um, deco, like the Hertz color combination. When uh, Hertz was doing the Mustangs, you could rent them. You could even rent a modern one in that gold and black look. So that should be pretty cool. We'll definitely open those. And we finish off, yeah, we'll just open everything. 
2022 Lexus LX. That's the second, third color, right? There's a green in the collectibles range, white last year. Now it's in gray. And the Citron E64X, that is new. So we will open all of those. That's done. Let's open up some cars. All right. We'll start on this side. We'll just go real quickly on, we'll open up everything. I, you know, we might as well. Just doing this packaging. I can even like, no, we'll just do this. Pull it out. Pop the car out of this uh, recyclable or recycled material. And here is the car. We'll put it on the turntable. Uh, pretty straightforward in green, like it. I mean, you could call it British Racing Green, but this is not a British car, but it's definitely that color. Very, very classic. Very, very classic. That's a terrible sentence. Sometimes I go back on my videos and wonder why I did it. But uh, a classic version of a cool car. We'll move that off to the side. That is nice. Let's. Uh, what's the other existing casting? It is the 2016 Ram Ambulance. Uh, second or third? Oh, there was the the National Parks version in the Mattel Creations. You know, the direct to consumer. All metal, well, uh, all metal body, plastic chassis. But uh, this was this really makes uh, Matchbox collectors happy to have an all metal chassis. There was a time when that wasn't going to happen. Where it was like there was a there would be a plastic box metal cab, and now and then it was all plastic. They've gone back to the metal. You know, with this price point, they can play with that a little bit, and I think that makes everybody happy this has the opening doors in the back i didn't even think about the moving parts on this one if i'll show it if it is needed i guess i could metal doors and then yeah all the equipment inside which is kind of cool or you know beds and stuff like that there's that all right new casting 2022 alpha male stelvio almost dropped it Move that over there, pop those, toss that, pick this up. So we're seeing a lot of like, I don't know if the Stelvio is an EV. I'll open the door so you can see on the inside there and then we'll go ahead and put it on the turntable. I like this one. I, you know, these crossovers just from a side profile start looking very much the same, but that's, you know, that goes with the flow when it comes to seeing one on these road, right? You need to see the grill and see what you can see. I mean, so many, it's like, is that a Mazda or an Alfa Romeo or a Ford or a Maserati? Like it, or a Lamborghini or, you know, like it is, you could, you know, these silhouettes are pretty similar. And on one hand, it's what makes these safe, I guess. On the other hand, and, you know, Probably easy to drive. On the other hand, makes them design-wise somewhat boring. But if it's boring cars on the road and Matchbox is replicating this, I kind of like. I'm kind of cool with that. Like I think that when Matchbox is replicating real cars on the road, I'm happy, even if they're boring. But keep it interesting too, like this one. Bring in some classics. 1970 AMC Javelin. This is a nice one. You know, Hot Wheels has theirs. Uh, that one didn't go over too well. Some of these. Some of these are easy to open, sometimes they're not, but that's okay. You know, I try and save the packaging for, um, you know, I can to give away, but this is kind of hard to do. But we'll put it in recycling, we'll do that for sure. All right, let's see if we can pop this. When I first saw this, I thought it was the uh, Mustang, and then I realized in the next mix was that black Mustang. Okay, this is nice. I'll show you right there, the Javelin on the hood, which I think is really cool. I love that they did the black hood with this one. Silhouette on it is really nice. Let's open it. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna show it a little upside down because this doesn't stay. So I'll just do it that way. So you can see the detailing on the engine on the inside and we'll put it on the turntable. Got the chrome detailing, which is nice. Side stripes, rear detailing is done as well. I guess this doesn't have the headlights done, but it does have the black hood, which is cool. I like this one a lot. I wonder if the back end should go a little bit longer on that one, but 
you know, I sometimes you know with these ha- with these javelin bodies, I'm used to the racing body. I'll probably need to look at this one, but it's it does look really good. I like the details on that one. So that is a winner for sure. We'll have a put the extra here. And let's have, oh, I didn't even do the Lamborghini. This is also a new casting, Aventador SVJ Roadster. We saw the preview one that Matchbox sent. There's no difference here when I did the sneak peek video. But let's have a look. Here it is. It has the opening scissor doors. We'll go ahead and do that. This is nice. This is the Roadster, obviously, with the open roof. Metal doors. It's always important that the paint matches. There's a little bit of a fade on that, but that might just be specific to this model. Or like to this specific one I got. But it does look pretty good putting it on the turntable. Scissor doors are a nice touch on this one. I'm starting to lose track of the moving parts. There's so many new models. They really have leaned into this. And I like it for a differentiation. I mean, I'm not, I've, I've mentioned, I'm not, moving parts don't do much for me. Some of them are really clever and I like that. But as long as they don't get in the way, and I think Matchbox keeps doing better and better and better. And I like this as a branding separation from Hot Wheels, you know, and considering the two brands. So I've, so I've been really happy with this direction for Matchbox, and I think they're really nailing this. All right, let's talk about this Bronco. Lamborghini's cool. Uh, I like the Javelin better, more my style, and this Bronco I think is going to be the winner for me out of this particular case. Put that here. There it is. Let's pop it. Yeah, this is great. This is great. I almost, I mean, it's plastic. The top and the back is plastic. You wonder if they would ever do one. I mean, I think the window piece is probably all, oops, I'm not showing that, is all one piece, but maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let me show you the opening hood and then we'll put it on the turntable. There it is upside down. Detailed nicely. This is great. This is great. The two-tone blue and white. Love it so much. This, I think this is a casting a lot of people are going to like. I'd love to see this as a gathering exclusive. I'd love to see this as a, uh, um, you know, direct to consumer. They could do a lot of fun things with this one. And obviously they released a Bronco in the basic range too. I posted a picture of the two of them on Instagram. So from the sixties, right? So it's cool to see the two different, like them going kind of retro Bronco kind of makes sense. And this one is lifted too. So I, I just like that a lot. All right. We're already 12 minutes in. We got a lot of work to do. Let's get to the Lexus. Let's get to the, that was the L case. Here is the M case. We'll just show this Lexus real quick. Debuted last year. Guess I can move this down just a tad. There it is in kind of a matte gray. It's a little more matte than I thought. Opening part in the back. Uh, you know, you've seen it. I just got it on the turntable. Grill. It's the Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica Cylon grill. That's the way I look at it. Um, the gray is nice. Nice replica of a road car. That's a talked enough about that all right new castings are the focus let's do the mazda we've seen this casting before i think this is the second version right past the white one i think i'm remembering that correctly oops bad aim there Pretty straightforward, just like the white one, only red, right? Detailing on the side, detailing on the front, detailing on the back, thank goodness. Makes it nice and complete. Really happy they're doing that. Um, looks like the engine has been detailed too. Kind of hard to... It's in there. It says Mazda on it. That's cool. That's nice. Seems like the window does get in the way of that, but that's okay. Nice, nice model. In red. What's the other existing Mustang Boss 302? Love this. Hertz Deco. Love that they did that. That black and gold. Was the original Hertz rental, like, was it a, was it, it was a Shelby, wasn't it? So I don't think it would be this exact model. It feels like it was a Shelby. 
This casting, is this the second version? First one was blue. That looks good. Let's check the engine. Oh yeah. Look at that Boss 302 on the engine. That's nice. That's great. That's a great Mustang silhouette. The Hot Wheels uh, version of this casting is one of my favorite Mustang castings that Hot Wheels has done, and this Matchbox matches that very nicely, and doing it in Hertz Deco. Maybe unofficial Hertz Deco, but Hertz nonetheless. Love it. Put it right there next to the uh, Javelin. That seems to make some sense. Put that over here. Let's do the Citron. EC4X, I wonder if that means it's an EV, yeah. Well, the art suggests that it is, right? Matchbox leaning into the EVs. They've been doing it for a while now. Okay, see, it's another, like, almost looks like the Mercedes from a couple years ago. Pretty, you know, pretty straightforward crossover silhouette. We'll open up the hood if I can. Some of these open better than others. See, this is why it's like I don't, I don't really. I mean, that's nice. It is detailed inside. That's important for those that want. It doesn't open a really, really wide, but you know, this isn't going to be in some guy's garage behind the barn, you know, on a Saturday afternoon working on that. So I guess it doesn't have to open that wide. But it's a nice casting. Again, nice casting of a car I could care less about, <laughs> right? Not because it's an EV, but road cars are road cars. I don't care. Like that Alfa Romeo is nice, but I still, I could say I care less about it, but I still like it, right? Does that make sense? I still am really happy they do them, especially they're given some European only cars, Australian cars, that kind of thing. Um, some nice love as well. Last one. Let's go to the 2018 Ford Focus RS. Another interesting choice, especially this time now. I think the RS isn't even made anymore. But neither is that Bronco, right? So, okay, love the blue, love the blue on this. They, I think they, I think they got the blue right, more correct than even the Hot Wheels did on this signature car. Black wheels, of course. I should open up the hood. We've already got it on the turntable, but I'll open up the hood, and then when you come back off the turntable, it'll be waiting for you. And there it is. Details in the engine looks really nice. Obviously I'm going super up close so it looks more pixelated than it will from that perspective, right? From how you're normally gonna look at it. There you go, Matchbox moving parts by way of ANJ Toys and Mattel. Two nice cases, L and M. Winner for this one to me is the Bronco. I just it just fits perfectly. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. I'll put the Javelin as far as the new as the new castings next. Lamborghini maybe after that. Alpha said no. I maybe the Focus. Lamborghini Focus Alpha Citron, and then a special shout out to the Hertz Mustang. You guys tell me what you think. Which ones are your favorites? This one's cool. Thanks everybody. Thanks A and J Toys. Thanks Matchbox. Way more to come. Bye.